Let's do this over here. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Okay, we good to go? Good to go. Yeah, so I am here with the one and only. <laughs> Hang on, Emma. Abagi, yeah. how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you guys totally, if you, if you were here like five minutes ago, we had a whole dance off, sassy Persian style music. It was just a blast, right? <laughs> and about from five in the morning, four, four thirty. Four in the morning. In the morning. Yeah. Um, tell me, because I, I know you for many years now, and uh, we go back. Uh, you know, personal friendship, business, etc. But tell us the story of Emma. Who's Emma? You you're an immigrant. You came here, got licensed. You know, you you're a successful realtor. Tell us the story. Um. Yeah, the story is just when you review, it's just like crazy. So, uh, yeah, as you said, I'm an immigrant, and you know, it's just like really, um challenging when you are new in, in the country so but um i got my uh, master in english literature in iran back in iran my country and then i um when i came here i got my um uh, bachelor in uh, radiology different story wow, right yeah. yeah and then i ended up in real estate um my mom was so upset because he was she was like <laughs> you go to school you study a lot and then you're like you just got the license and i it's my passion i was at the beginning the maybe the reason was like um i have flexible time you know i have my own time i have i'm my own boss and uh, these but then gradually i realized it's my passion i love real estate mm. you know it's who love stress? It's like we are kind of a therapist. <laughs> yes. I have one session today. I have to go. The old lady, <laughs> you know, yeah, a therapy session. But um, it's my passion. I enjoy, you know, um, talking to people, connecting to them, solving problems. Yes. And tell me from what you've experienced before. Uh, practicing full-time real estate, do you attribute some of that success to your past experience, your previous life before becoming a realtor, all those skill set? Before I become a realtor, I wasn't, the uh, my mindset, it wasn't like in a business. You know? Okay, okay. Not at all. And I never think like I'm going to be a, in a business yeah. one day. Yeah. Um, I was a little bit shy, can you believe that? I was really no. shy. <laughs> Maybe she was four years talking old. Talking to people, you know, <laughs> that I don't know, you know. But um, I'm just uh, really, uh, when I, you know, go back, it's just reviewing this. I feel like, oh, my God, I changed a lot. Mm. It's just like, um, I can't, myself, I can't believe that. That's now it's my personality. I always like, you know, connecting to people, but certain type of the people. But now I don't care. You know, I like people. Tell me about the change. Like what 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 made that change? Or when does this change happen in your life, in your career? The change was like I, I I think I used to be in my comfort zone and I didn't want to change anything and I was like really um um I was like really picky to just like uh, so I was always thinking the business is not my my career I can't be a businesswoman but gradually I was like okay. Okay. I was telling myself, you have to come out of the comfort zone, you know, you have to talk to, you have to go out, out there and, you know, so. Uh, what, what made you think that, and I'm asking those questions because, uh, you know, everybody got a story. At the same time, whoever's listening right now or later on, uh, we all find common ground with other people, resonate with your story, even if it's like a whole different scenario. And this is like right this is pretty much an opportunity to inspire so many people in that sense so i appreciate you sharing that right so 
what what made you kind of change your attitude to begin with to so, break through yeah at the beginning that i uh got my lessons and i started working um i was thinking maybe this is not my field you know mm -hmm. so uh but gradually i was like okay if i want to be a good real estate agent i have to change a lot of things and i have to get out of my comfort zone okay. so that was the thing that i was just thinking i have to change my personality and i changed my character and personality i'm totally different with hangman like 30 years ago do you think that was the hangman that was there all the time she was just waiting to be revealed i think so because <laughs> i waiting. love hangman of the day <laughs> Well, regardless. <laughs> I think so, yeah. So so how do you think your business changed really when you were, and, and I would say like that, when you were brave enough to embrace the change and take that leap of faith in yourself, right? Of course, like, yeah. I'm just doing these things differently. How, how did that change your business? No, definitely it was a big change because... When I was a new agent, I started like I was so shy. I was it was so scary to have like open houses, you know, sitting on open houses, mm -hmm. talking to people. And uh, but then I realized, uh, OK, you need to change something. So uh, gradually, you know, when you do something like after one year or two years, you just, you know, learn from that experience. I love that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe the first year I, I did like Saturday, Sunday, every weekend I was in the open houses. Mm -hmm. I was sitting for the other agents. And you remember like uh, back then was like you're sitting in open houses like nobody was showing up. It was like four hours sitting there sometimes. Sure. But um, I think you well, I was like, OK, open houses. So that's one thing that is like you just put your time and um, you connect with people mm -hmm. and then I gradually realized I have to talk to them I have to connect with them mm -hmm. and to be honest with you they get that vibes you know I'm not a pushy person I don't like to push people I don't convince people I just you know wants to just educate them and navigate them through the process mm -hmm. so yeah. I'm, my personality is somebody push me, I back up. It's just like, it's me. So I don't like push people. But I was just thinking, um, I need to just um, do something that connect with people. And universe is just like, I think it's the universe. So it's just right now, if I go anywhere, I go like shopping with my boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pause. <laughs> <laughs> no girlfriend <laughs> and then they're always telling me we'll go we go shopping we go out we go to the restaurants people just like start talking to me mm -hmm. they start talking to me i don't know it's just it's just the vibe it's just a connection and they always like hang away what are you doing Do you don't know them and i'm like i don't i like to talk to people <laughs> and that's the hang of a dino right yeah um i i think it's also your energy how it's you energy right yeah. It's an energy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what kind of uh, people your energy attracts? Do you believe? Um, it's kind of different, but sometimes I feel like I have a lot of patience, right? Mm -hmm. um, like, I don't know why, mm -hmm. but I do. Mm -hmm. I have it. So, most of the people that I deal with them, I have to be really patient with them. So. I don't know why I attract them, <laughs> kind of like these kind of people. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, like, you know, people with good vibes and the good energy, they, they, they're telling me, I like your vibes, I like your energy. So yesterday I was at the car wash sitting there. Uh, I was just talking to the lady. Um, well, that, was, that's a hang of a story, just listen, <laughs> listening. <laughs> so she was with two dogs, so we started talking, and then I realized, okay, we have, we both have accents, so Persian accents, so I'm like, are you Persian? Yes. <laughs> so we started talking, so, um, and I never just tell them, okay, here's my business card. No, I don't approach people like that. 
So I was like, yeah, I have to go my, it was true story. So I was go, I have to go with my showings. And I was like, okay, I have a half an hour to just do my car wash. So she was like, oh, you're a real estate agent. Yeah, I am. So give me your card. Oh, okay, here's my phone number. Mm -hmm. I don't have card with me, but here's my phone number. So we, she texted me last night. So, you know, nice meeting you. I like your wife. I like your energy. Mm -hmm. So something like that. I love that. Yeah, I just show you, you're very, you're, you're naturally nurture, right? Nurturing people. And I think, you know, because you're such a, um, uh, an attractor in a sense of like, I'm a safe zone. You, you can come talk to me, comfortable talk to me. People trust you. I think you can trust really well and fast with people. I feel like, yeah, right? I feel it's, yeah, it's true. I feel it. Recently more, more, you know, I feel it. Yes, just, just trust. They, they're trusting me. I yeah. Know. And you know, what? one thing that you mentioned <clears throat> is doing things over and over and over again. And, and it makes you really good. Um, I think people are overestimating sometimes uh, a, a talent, right? To look at other people that are like uber talented, like I don't know if I can ever be that kind of person, but really the um, confidence comes from the discipline to do things over and over and exactly. over again, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So how how do you how do you uh, maintain that discipline in your life to make sure that you're doing the important things over and over again. Um, okay, just let me tell you about my uh, routine. So sure. every day I wake up like 4 30 uh -huh. uh, meditation and then um, I go uh, so I <clears throat> do all the marketing stuff and make my videos or Whatever it comes to my body, it's a fresh mind in the morning. So I'm doing it in the morning. And then I go for a walk at 6 until 8. So it's just like 6 to 8. I'm like Is that walking. every day? Every single day, wow. every Saturday and Sunday. Even though if I'm at the party up to like 4 in the morning, I go to bed, wake up like and go for a walk, 6 to, to 8, 8 30. Where, 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 where do you, that's 2 hour walk. Where, where are you walking? Where are you going? In my neighborhood, you know, <laughs> now I just like 20, you know, ladies in the neighborhood, they're like waiting for me to go for a walk. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, if you want to join Hangaman's walking clubs, just apply here. <laughs> just apply. <laughs> <laughs> no, believe me, they're like, so I put like, you know, some kind of like uh, coffee time for them to after walk if I have time. They, come with me to for the coffee, grab a coffee. They like that, you know? Yeah. It's just like, and to me, you know, it's just crazy because all these ladies in the neighborhood, they are like living just maybe across the street next to each other. And they, for 40 years or 30 years, they don't know each other. And you brought them and together. And now they are inviting because I started inviting them to my house. So to my party, you know, Persian style. Yeah. And then like uh just the West Hills uh neighborhood. Yes. And then right now they're like uh, you know, okay, it's my time, it's my time. So they're inviting the other one. <laughs> and they were like the other time of the day, I was like, Oh my god, these ladies is just cross the street of each other for 25 years. They never like even say hi to them. And right now they are like inviting to. But yeah, I go for a walk back to your question. Mm -hmm. So um so in the morning, I when I'm walking, I just like have my phone and I um, mark my calendar for everything that I have to do in the morning. So it it comes to your mind. At night, I can't. You have to do it at night, but I can't do it because when you wake up at four in the morning, like after six or seven, I'm like, my brain is dead. Yeah. Um, but I'm doing it in the morning, mm -hmm. so I put it in my calendar. Um, I'm working on it to just get better and better because it's the system, you know, you have to be there like um and then during the day I just look at my phone, okay, I have to do this, I have to so it's just like remind you what to do till night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically you 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 wake up every day, you focus on yourself, right? Kind of empower that. That mind and soul, and then of course body, because you go on that two hours uh, walk with the girls, and then you're. What's the plan for the day? Let's 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 get it going. 
right? Yeah. Do, do you have any days that they're like kind of down uh, in the sense of like I'm not motivated, you're not motivated, I don't feel like doing it, or how do you handle that? Before, uh, if, uh, like a couple of years ago or two years ago, I had like a kind of situation, family mm -hmm. situation, so it was really hard. But I think this walking every day, it helped me a lot. Just like go through all these um, um, issues in my um, personal life, and um, to be honest with you, if I'm even you know tired or you know down, I go for a walk, and it helped me mm -hmm. just like change my mood. Right. So yeah. I can work. You know, yeah. if I don't go for a walk in the morning, I think I'm gonna be the laziest person in the world. And that's that's a great uh, self reflection. Really, uh, it goes back to discipline. That's yeah. You know, it's really is the core of discipline. Like to do things that are might be uncomfortable at times, or exactly. might make you feel uncomfortable if you're not gonna do it, do them right. Yeah. Uh, and, and just just what she was just shared earlier with that, um, you know, walking around with people, like you know, this, this walking club, if you may, and those little parties. It's very similar to you're doing in your businesses, like a uh, events, right? To bring the the, the your clients, etc. So that it's, it's this is really the one of the secret, right? Uh, you know, uh, formulas, if you may, of the business is how can I bring people together? And I'm I'm the connector, right? And you happen to be also a realtor, so it's, you have this extra value, just, not just you know selling homes, right? Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> And they trust you more, you know. Right, right now, two of them just working as a buyer for with me for their kids, you know. Um, they're buying houses, so it's just, you know, trusting me, seeing, you know, every day, every day talking about real estate, about the market, about everything in the morning. Yeah, it's a little bit hard because you're waking four in the morning and you have to talk two hours, six to the eight. <laughs> Sometimes I'm tired of the. You talk to people that early in the morning. Oh, you know, when six to the, the was, people, yeah, yeah, but six to seven, I put people myself, like me and my dog, mm -hmm. and then after seven, they're gonna join. You yeah, know, gonna, yeah. Okay, well, that's, a, that's smart. Yeah. yeah, you break it down. You yeah. you you prepare yourself mentally for. I have to prepare myself. Make, yeah. make those notes. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of my next question, by the way, that. Um, um, to ask you is how do you you, you do well you did well the last few years that like it was pivoting years transitional years uh, you're very consistent how do you go after uh, new business how do you maintain existing clientele for the existing clientele or the past clients I always you know it's not like just like sending a campaign email I call them, I text them, I uh, birthday for the birthday, for anniversary, whatever it is, or let's go grab a coffee, you know, um, and they, they really like it, you know, they want to have like spend time with you. Mm -hmm. And um, not all of them, like 90%, you know, sure. It's just like, um, that's still a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why my family always like, you never have to be home. <laughs> you never cook, you yeah. never clean the house, and you are always on the floor. So, um, so that's the thing. But um, I make you know I have to work, right? Right, right. So, uh, back to your question. Um, new business. The, yeah, the new business. Um, I'm just you know, uh, like it's been a month that I'm thinking to just because. Uh, I'm Persian, so we have like Persian community too. So it's good to, I was just thinking to have like videos in Farsi. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to uh, get some like marketing uh, stuff, banners and, and everything in a Persian community. Mm -hmm. um, I was just convincing one of them yesterday. They were like, no, we, need, we, we don't need any realtors here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm a different realtor. So you have to listen to me. So I talk and talk and he was like, oh my God, you did it. You sold it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's for permanent. I'm like, okay. So for now. You're, you're, you're matching your style to their style. Then, yeah, then um, I'm just planning for this. So, um, uh, but other than that, overall, like, um, you know, I do a lot of door knocking. Okay. 
Are you aware of, like in your farm or just different I areas? Three farms and three are collaborating with the agents because I don't, you know, as a woman, I don't like to go by, first of all, it's, safe, it's not safe mm -hmm. to go by myself. Second is accountability. It's just like somebody else is just like calling you, okay, today at 10. So you, if even you don't feel to go. You because, have to show up. Because the thing is, our business is like, we are our own box. So we can be really lazy. I was thinking about it. When you work with somebody else, nine to five, you are going to be there at nine, not later than nine. Sure. You're going to leave at five. You're going to work whole day and then just get a salary. But for yourself, I was just telling myself, for yourself, you have to be like this. If you say like, I'm going to go door knocking at 10, be there at 10. Don't be lazy like, okay, 11. Okay, today is hot. Today is this and that. Let's just do it tomorrow, you know? So you work for somebody else and you ha you're you disciplined, but you work for yourself. Sometimes it's hard to get, like... And, and, and that, that's a very important because not everybody are uh, qualified to, uh, let's say, to um, run a company properly uh, or don't have the experience, yeah. right? Some shape and form. So you, you might be the worst boss that you, you ever had exactly. to yourself, right? <laughs> exactly. And that's fine. So it's smart to have an accountability person yeah. with you. So I have like Encino Farm, I have within his farm, I have uh, even West LA. So um, like two days with one lady, it's like three agents, one guy, two uh, girls. So we go door knocking, we have like always I'm doing the marketing stuff. I get like idea of like what should we do and what should we just like give the people to uh, for like one round and then the second round we're gonna just do another thing, you know. Right. And um uh, door knocking is my niche. I, I don't like cold calling. Mm -hmm. I um started doing it a couple of years ago, but it was like bad experience. I don't wanna do it. So um, even though if somebody called me for cold party, I'm like, not interested, bang. <laughs> so um, I feel like people, but you know, people make money, yeah, agents make money. Sure. I love it, but it's not me. So I do door knocking every every single day, like four or five days with different agents, different farms, but the same farm, you know, it's not like. that. That's, that's consistency. That's commitment. Yeah. Right. And then, um, of course, the uh, open houses that, the, the other open house I had like two weeks ago, it was like five hours I was standing and talking mm -hmm. with a lot of people. And uh, what else? I, um, I like to have my brand, like I put like some school's brand uh, banners. Oh, we can see those everywhere we drive in the valley. You can see it. And you know what? Uh, some agents I send the text to schedule a showing, and I send my um, business card, and they're oh my god, they saw your banner and the uh, like to uh, the solo. I so, so it's just like your brand. Sometimes agents asking me, did you get any deal? No, no deal from that banner, but it's 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 your brand. The pe people, you know, see your face. Some right. past clients called me. Oh my God, they were like thinking, this is kind of like, um, um, I don't know. They were like, oh, I'm so proud of you, and um, you know, I like your picture. I like your banner. This and that. So, it's it's, I think it's good to have it. But um, yeah, it's it's a state state top of mind, and I call it confirmation of existence. Uh -huh. Like. I'm I'm still here. I'm still here. Right. Yeah. I'm still working. Right. I'm looking. <laughs> don't, don't go with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. So so what I'm what I heard from you, um, for people that are looking to maybe uh, get confirmation of what they're doing right now or adding to their business, how to go up to businesses, uh, you always keep close uh, connection with your sphere personally, right? Like in touch, calls, texts, what have you. Uh, you're you're doing. Um, uh, client events in a way it can be a walking group can be you know parties at your house or what have you uh, you farm you always leave item of value of some kind yeah. right 
um, and then open houses. Open houses. Another thing to mention open houses because you have to remember that what kept you um, or originally gave you business, sometimes we get called to like, oh, I, I want to try something different. Mm -hmm. And you jump around, what have you. You always stayed loyal to that funnel yeah. throughout the years. Right? Yeah, exactly. And then, uh, like the open houses, uh, when you put your site, I, I put a lot of sites. Mm -hmm. I don't like, like, I see some agents just put one sign on the pieces, you know, just like two or three signs. Mm -hmm. Most of the people, when people come to my open house, say, oh my God, I just found it because of your sign, mm -hmm. you know, the direction. Some some houses is hard to find, you know, some townhouses or, you know, but they like it because it's just kind of like tracking my signs that they can be there. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes um, I, I'm so tired to get my sign. <laughs> and then, People call me the day after, like. Um, well, I called you one time. <laughs> They're like, yeah, so it's sign like somewhere. Go there. pick up your sign. Go pick up the sign. <laughs> um, but they call me, you know. It's just like, oh, hang on, do you have anything in med? I said, I saw your signs just close the uh, med community. I saw your signs just mm -hmm. close to women is. Do you have anything? So they call, you know. Yeah. It's not good to leave it there, but maybe check out. A lot of people ask me, I, I'm, I'm guessing you as well, um, you know, all the upcoming changes, commissions, and NR, uncertainty, what have you, still low inventory, what have you. How do you um, keep that discipline, that, that uh, positive attitude, your amazing energy, uh, without fear of what's, what would happen or won't happen in the future? I remember when this started, so many agents just was calling, like talking to me. Oh my God, they were stressed out. They were like, really, you know, uh, they were like, what's going to happen? What's good? I'm like, I was so relaxed, you know. I was like, first of all, we don't know. Um, let's just wait for it to see. And then there always, when there is an issue, there is like a um, uh, uh, solution for it, too, mm -hmm. right? So, it's not something like, okay, Dondell, we can't like work with the buyers. The good point about it, I was just thinking of that, you have to have a contract, right? Mm -hmm. With the buyer. So that buyer is not gonna go with somebody else. At least the time frame that you're working with, if he if they wanna go, okay, you know they're going. But sometimes, you know, I, I was um, like in my first or second year. So I was going with that buyer, Every single weekend, everybody was just like invited my, me to the party. I'm not going to come. I'm, I have a buyer. I have to go. <laughs> so after like six months, he called me. Oh, hang on me. Uh, uh, our offer was accepted. I was like, what? So they were like, I think we can work with a couple of the agents. And the other agent just like sent an offer. So it's just like, you know, you, it's. Uh, pissing you off but now it's just like okay the, you have a contract and they're gonna work with you and um, the second thing is always real estate is negotiable right there's not such a like okay so um a standard thing so you can charge six percent you can charge four percent you can some people works like uh, for one percent um commission i don't know it's just like right. i saw the ads so it's negotiable, first of all. And then you can just talk to the seller, the buyers. You know, if you gonna want to get the top dollar, you have to pay more for the buyer agents to just, you know, bring their buyers because you want to expose your house to thousands of the buyer agents for the buyers. So that's like, if you want to get top dollar, just you can pay uh, for the buyer side too. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Mm -hmm. Just people has to. Uh, you, we have to adjust. Figure out. Yeah. The the well, how to present. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, and, and I I love that because pretty much what you're what you're saying, uh, what I'm hearing you saying is that um, you're you have to embrace the change to your advantage, and you know if anything people always like say buyers of this buyers of that that's pretty much gonna gonna secure the relationship to begin with. Right. And I know that people like you, professionals like yourself, 
will, I believe, will do even better because that will eliminate all the gray area of what people sometimes, you know, can can do pretty yeah. much, right? Exactly. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Uh, we 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 can go for hours, and 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 I've I've been I've been in parties at uh, uh, some parties at Hengam's house. You definitely want to be invited. It's one of the best things ever. Um, I did. The, oh the, the presentation of it. Everything everything is amazing. Everything is amazing. So uh, if anybody want to reach out to you, Hengame, uh, for uh, she goes by Emma as well. Um, to just you, you know run things by you. Maybe they have clients here in the San Fernando Valley. They want to refer to you, uh, connect with you. You, I know that you're also always looking very particularly hiring people for your for your team, right? Yeah, What's the best way to yeah. yeah? So um, yeah, that's a plan to have a team. So I have one right now. A uh, very smart, uh, intelligent Persian guy, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a plan. To have a team, to and keep, keep uh, even yeah. though for the Orange County, um, I right. work with Mesh, so it's just like um, together we do the Orange County and LA County. Yeah, what's the best way to reach out to you? Phone or what's oh, the, yeah? Phone, yeah, which is commercial? Yeah, <laughs> three one zero five nine seven zero seven nine. What's the number? My number. Yeah, if, if people want to reach out to you. Yeah. Yeah. Action. <clears throat> that was great. Um, last but not least, who's your favorite Persian pop singer? Sassy. Sassy? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> we love Sassy. Um, don't be sassy. No, don't be sassy. Don't be sassy. I like Sassy. I know. Well, hang on, man. It's for the party. So it's, I think it's good for the party. It's for the party. It's for the party. But stay this in a few seconds after we're gonna finish this session because we're gonna put some sassy uh for you. But Engame, you're you're amazing. You're an inspiration to many people out there. Your attitude, your energy, your contribution to our community, right? In our offices and our company and out there, whoever gets to to know you and do deal with you is fortunate. So can't thank you enough. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. And he's the best. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you.